Hey, Haji. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm going to be your nurse today. How are you? Hi, I'm okay. My name's Jacqueline. All right. Okay. Um, so, can you tell me your full name and date of birth? My name is Jacqueline Rose Osman. My date of birth is 10-24-47. Okay. And do you know the reason you're here today for today's visit? Yes, I do. I'm here for a neuro neurology assessment. Okay. All right. Um, before we begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test your short-term memory, and I'm going to ask you uh, to remember three objects. Okay. And I will test them later on to see if you remember them. Okay. So the three objects are chair, okay, clock, okay, and book. Chair, clock, and book. All right. Okay. So what I want you to do is describe any difficulties you have carrying out your activities of daily living. I don't have any difficulties. Okay. Do you have any chronic diseases such as diabetes or hypertension? No, I don't. Okay. Do any members of your family now have or have they ever had a neurological problem or disease? No, not that I'm aware of. Have you ever been diagnosed with a neurological illness, a neurologic illness? No, I what? haven't. Okay. Have you ever had any injury to your head, neck, or back? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, what are your allergies? I'm allergic to pollen and dust. Okay. Do you have any recent illnesses? No. Okay. Current medications that you're on? Just a vitamin. Uh, past injuries? I had a broken nose in 1972. All right. Uh, have you noticed any changes in the way that you walk um, in the past six days, six weeks, six months? No. Okay. Do you walk with a cane, walker, or any other assistive devices? No, I do not. Have you experienced a fall in the last six months? No, I haven't. Okay. Do you drop things easily? Not really. Okay. Do you consider yourself clumsy? No. Do you wear a helmet when biking, skateboarding, or skiing? I don't do any of those. Okay. Uh, do you wear a seatbelt in the car? Yes, I do. Alright. Uh, do you now, or have you ever used recreational drugs or alcohol? No, I never do. Do you live in a home built before 1978? No. Okay. Are you exposed to any toxic chemicals at home or at work? No. Okay. Have you ever found a tick on your body or pet? No. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to ask you more about symptoms uh, and behaviors. Um, do you know? Uh, do you now, or have you ever had fainting? No. Dizziness. Once in a while I had a uh, ringing in my ear, that's all. Okay. Lightheadedness? No. Seizures? Tremors? No. Visual disturbances? No. Uh, hearing difficulties? No, just the ringing, ringing in my ears. ear once in a while. Okay. Changes in, changes in sense of your taste? No. Changes in your sense of smell? No. Okay. Numbness or tingling sensations? No. Headaches? No. Pain? No. Memory difficulties? No. Speech difficulties? No. Okay, very good. All right, so now I'm going to ask you what those three objects were that I asked you to remember. You said a chair, a clock, and a book. Very nice. Um, so, hygiene. Um, how often do you take a shower or bath? I take a shower once a day. Okay. And I wash my hair once a day, and I brush my teeth twice a day. Okay. Um, we're just going to continue on at uh, facial expressions. So, can you smile for me and show me all your teeth? Okay. 
Are you good? Can you close your eyes tightly? Nice. And can you make your eyebrows go up? Very good. Can you tell me today's date? July 30th, 2017. Okay. Do you know what time it is? It's around 11.45. Okay. And do you know where you're at? I'm at my house. Okay. Do you know the reason you're being evaluated? For an, uh, neurology problems, okay. if I have any. All right. Um, I'm just going to test your memory a little bit more. Um, do you know what 2 plus 2 is? 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, do you know what 2 times 2 is? 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay, good. And this is a proverb, so it has different meaning. Uh, it has a certain meaning uh, to people. So if I would ask you, people who live in glass houses should not throw stones, what would that mean to you? You shouldn't gossip about other people and bring out their faults because we all have faults of our own that they can talk about. Very good. And if I were to ask you how an orange and an apple similar? An orange and an apple are both fruit. Okay. Um, next thing was we're going to test motor function, so we're testing your gait walking. And if I could ask you to stand up for okay. a minute. And all I want you to do is just walk normally to that okay. point and back. And if you can just um, walk to right there from heel to toe. Very good. Okay, you can come back. Um, if you can tiptoe from there to there. Very good. Um, and if you can walk on your heels. Good. That's good. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the Romberg test now. If you can stay standing. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is just put uh, your feet together and your arms together. Keep your eyes open. You can put your hands down here. Okay. That's good. And just stay still for a few seconds. Okay, now close your eyes. Okay. All right, that's good. Okay, now you can have a seat. Now I'm going to check your pupil size. That's good. Um, next thing is, I'm going to check your eyes a little bit more. So what I, I could have you do is put one hand over one eye, and I'm going to check four different areas of each eye. Okay. And I'm going to put a number up. All I want you to do is tell me what that number is. Okay. So go like that. One. Here. Oh, two. One. Three. Three. Okay. Now the other eye. One. One. Two. Two. Very good. Now what I'm going to do is, um, as soon as you see my fingers, I just want you to say that you see them, okay? Okay. I see them. Okay. Good. And if you can, with your feet, um, go like this. Good. That's your heel to shin. Okay, that's good. You can sit back down. I'm going to test your sensory function. If you can close your eyes for me. Okay. Can you feel this? Yes, I feel a touch right on my shoulder. Okay. All right. Can you feel that? I feel a touch on my arm, on my left arm. Good. Can you feel this? I feel a touch on both wrists. Good. Now what I want you to do is squeeze my fingers. Okay. Wiggle your fingers. Good. And I want you to make your toes, bring your toes out and make them point towards the ceiling, point towards the ground. Okay. And um, push against both of them. 
Good. Okay. That's good. And with your arms out, push against my hands. Good. Very good. For touch. Okay. Can can you feel both both of this here? You can close your eyes. Can you feel that? Yes, I feel a touch on my right cheek. I feel a touch on my left cheek. Okay. Can you feel that? I feel a touch on my upper arm, my right arm, and my upper left arm. Okay. Right there. I feel a touch on both the top of my hands. Okay. Can you tell me whether this is warm? Okay. Uh, keep your eyes closed. Okay. Yep. I'm going to give you this. Can you tell me whether this is warm or cold? This is um, pretty warm. Okay. Warm or cold? That's very cold. Okay. Now I'm going to place three objects in your hand, and if you can tell me what they are. Here you go. Here's the first one. That is a paper clip. Okay. Here's the next one. This is, feels like a quarter, of some kind of a coin. I'm pretty sure it's a quarter. Okay, and this one. This is a pen. All right, very good. A letter, and I want you to tell me what letter it is with your, with your palms. Here, okay. F. Okay, and this one. B. Okay. Now we'll do numbers. Okay. One. Two. Good. I'm going to test two point discrimination. So you can tell me if you feel one or, or two. Okay. Two. Two touches on both of my legs. Okay. One or two. One touch on each leg is what I meant before also. Okay. One or two? One touch on each. One, one on each, good. One on each or just one? One on each. Okay. One on each or just one? Can you do that over again? One or each or just one? One on each. One on each or just one? One on each. Okay. All right. So what I'll have you do is... Uh, well, I'll have you stand up one last time, all right? And what I want you to do is put your arms out like this, okay? And just keep them there, okay? And and just hold them there. Close your eyes for, for about 10 seconds. Okay, so I'm just going to push down. I want you to push back, okay? Very good. That's good. Okay, thank you. All right, you can have a seat. You did very good. So the last thing here is I'm going to educate you on the signs and symptoms of a stroke. Okay? So I'm going to teach you the FAST acronym, F-A-S-T. stands for face, arm, speech, and time. And that's so you recognize signs and symptoms of a stroke. So the F is the face. You will see facial drooping, generally on one side. So it'll look like that. Uh, the arm, if you put, put the arms out like I asked you to do earlier, one arm will drift generally. So that's another sign of a stroke. Um, speech, there will be slower speech so you can't necessarily uh, understand exactly what they're saying sometimes. And the last thing is T, time. If a stroke occurs, you should be aware of the exact time that the stroke started and you want to call 911 immediately and get help as soon as possible. Uh, that's very important in a stroke situation. So if you could tell me what FAST stands for. Okay, you just taught me what FAST stands for. The F in FAST is a drooping face. Okay. The A is an arm that's not exactly across from the other arm. It droops. The S is slur speech, and the T is, notice the time that it happened that you saw this, and call 911 immediately. Very good.
Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share.